There are some times when it、uh, is very beneficial to be able to import a previous project that you have worked on into your current project. And I'd just like to take a few moments and demonstrate、uh, what I mean by that. Let's go ahead and fire up the program. Every time I start a new project, there is always one project、uh, that I have established that I like to import into my new project. And that is a music project. I have、uh, a number of、uh, production music libraries that I have licensed and、uh, like to have access to for every project that I work on. But I don't like to have to take the time to organize these tracks into folders every time I work on a new project. So I have established a project that I call music, and、uh, I have organized all of my tracks into folders that will help me find the particular type of music that I'm looking for. So let's go ahead and import my music project, and you can do that through the open project、uh, icon, actually the drop-down arrow that's just beside that. And it gives you、uh, several different options here. You'll notice that one of them does say "Import Project." That's not actually the option that we're looking for, even though it's worded "Import Project." This here gives you the options of bringing in、uh, edit decision lists from other programs, and that's not what we're interested in at this point.、Uh, the option that you're actually looking for is "Import Sequence," and this is kind of a misnomer, really, because、uh, Edius does not allow you to import an individual sequence. From a previous project, when you click this,、uh, the actual dialog box even says "Import Project," and、uh, so the misnomer is corrected in the dialog box. But now we can go ahead and browse our hard disks, looking for previous projects that we have worked on. I believe this music project is on this hard drive here, under New Network, and here it is here, Music. So we'll just double click on that. And Edius might give you a little bit of a warning here that、uh, you are attempting to import a project that is、uh, using different project settings. Don't worry about that、uh, for this particular type of thing, at least. And we want to have the import bin checked. And down here under Copy Files, I like to have this unchecked. I don't want Edius recopying all of my music into my new project because I don't need the duplicate files. Okay, and、uh, once you've made those selections, go ahead and hit OK. And again,、uh, Edius gives you this warning dialog that a part of this project that you're trying to import doesn't match the settings of your current project. Do you wish to continue? Well, yes, we do. And depending on the size of your project, that may take a few moments to import. And here we see that、uh, some of the clips are offline. You may find that you get this warning from time to time if some of the media has been deleted from some of the folders that、uh, this particular project referenced when it was first created. You can go ahead and open this and see what type of、uh, problems we're looking at. And here it is: only one file is missing, and so we're not going to worry about that. We'll close that. Close this. Now we see over here in our bin window that we have a new folder called Music. Other than the one that we had started in a previous tutorial, we have a brand new folder called Music, and as we open it up, we see that we have all of my music tracks nicely sorted out into folders with a, a variety of designations that make it easy for me to find the right type of music for the type of video that I'm、uh, trying to edit. So that's good to know that you can have that. We'll maybe just import、uh, one more project. You may be working on a new project. And you know that the project that you edited、uh, six months ago has lots of media that you will be able to reuse in your new project. And so, rather than import all of that media using your import tool, add files, it's simply much more convenient to just go ahead and import that old project. And once again, we're not looking for the import project option; we're looking for import sequence. And we'll go and browse for that project.、Uh, here it is. Here, Africa. And、uh, once again, we want to import the bin so that we can take advantage of the bin file structure with the way that we've organized all of the clips for that last project. But we do not want Edius to go and copy all of that media、uh, into another folder on our hard drives. When we can simply access it directly, go ahead and hit OK, 
and EDIUS will go in and import that project into your new project. And if it was a large project, uh, it may take a while to load up, especially if you're working with the native HDV file, the MPEG format, the MT2 files. Those seem to um, take a lot longer to load up into EDIUS. So you might want to just, uh, when you're doing something like that, uh, set it rolling and uh, go take a coffee break. Okay, so the project is in, and once again we see that there's some missing media. Let's just go take a look and see what we're up against here. And... Uh, I know that the uh, Canon 7D uh, material is on another drive that's not connected to the computer at the moment, so I'm okay with that. And hit close. And now we can go over to our bin and look under Africa and see that the project has come in not only with all of the file folder designations that I have set up to uh, organize the media from the last project, but also it has come in with all of its sequences. And you may find that as you work with the media from the uh, previous project, that the waveforms may not be present uh, in the current configuration, and it may indeed have to go through and generate waveforms. But you've saved a lot of time not having to reorganize all of this media into their appropriate folders. And now as you work in your new project, as you need to access material from the previous project, uh, you'll be able to easily find that. And because we know that all of this music that we brought in uh, under a previous tutorial is already in our music project, we can go ahead and delete that. So we'll just right click on it and hit delete. Are you really sure you want to delete? Yes, we're sure. Okay, so that brings us uh, one step closer to editing our project. We'll have uh, just one more tutorial and that is uh, dealing with the actual bin window and the different ways that it can be organized to edit efficiently.